Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I got a little bit of, of a treat for you guys. Um, it's kind of like a behind the scenes uh, speed ramped editing process of me doing an entire boudoir session um, where I just kind of like pre-edited and pre-recorded um, everything and then uh, I went in with like a voiceover to kind of like talk about what I was doing in the editing process. And so I hope that uh, it's helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below. Um, and I really hope you enjoy the video, um, and if you do get to the end, uh, <laughs> or even if you don't get to the end, go ahead and like and subscribe. So right now I'm color correcting all of the images, um, adjusting the angles, cropping, all that good stuff. And I'm actually working off of the, um, what's it called? Uh, actions well in lightroom it's called presets I'm actually working off all of the presets that i've previously made which actually i have online for free if you guys want to grab those um so i copied and pasted a preset that i had already dropped on the on a previous image onto this image while editing um and all the presets i made um and so then um, I dropped this into Photoshop, which you're seeing right now, and I'm using the content aware tool and kind of like lassoing certain areas and kind of blending skin tones together. Um, and if there was like a pimple or like light was hitting weird, I was kind of moving that around and kind of like softening all the skin tones and stuff like that. Um, just because I shoot with a really hard light, um, it really like draws out some stuff. Um, the light kind of rakes across the skin and it shows truly like all the pores and stuff and, and any bumps or anything like that. So um, I like to lightly edit and essentially do like this in between of what it would look like if it was shot with some like natural light head on, but we're shooting with like you know, that more um, dark look. But I wanted it to, I like when I when I do my work, I want it to be the in-between of those two things. It's really hard to get that without, um, you can either only get one or the other, you can't get both, and you can't really edit in a dark and moody feel into bright and airy images. So, um, and then I brought this in to Photoshop and I have something called portraiture, which I dropped that onto it to kind of soften the skin tones and do my final retouching there. This is what the final image looks like. Hope that was helpful. And then in, Sorry guys, it's really hard to focus while I'm watching myself edit stuff and talk. But, so basically what this is, is um, literally a full boudoir session that I edited. I think it was 20 images long. I only showed you guys, I think like 13 images or something. I think some of the images were a little bit too spicy to upload to like YouTube or TikTok or or really anywhere, so I just didn't include everything. I don't want to get in trouble, so. <laughs> but, yeah, this is sped up. I think I ramped it up to about 500, 600 times speed, just so you didn't have to drone on and watch me edit for a couple hours. Um, so, <laughs> we rendered that down into about 10 minutes editing time, so that's pretty, that's pretty nice. Um, like I said, you can check out any of those presets that I made um, on the website, which I think there's a link to, I'm not 100% sure. Depends where you're watching this video, I guess, truly. Um, basically, I'm running, currently running the website through becomingfireboudoir.com, and there's like a tab called Shadow and Light collective education something like that and um all of the education stuff is is going to be there um 
and the presets are free. It's it's nothing crazy, guys. Um, but it is just some stuff that I've like worked on with with the lighting that I have in the studio. Um, yeah. So this is my workflow. I will try to do a little bit of face. Face voiceover? I don't know what you call it. Um, just kind of add this to like a podcast vibe that I've been posting and put that at the beginning of this video. Which, when you're watching it, you probably have already seen that. <laughs> but I feel like I'm droning on at this point, but um, I hope all of this stuff has been helpful. And you can mute this if it is distracting. Maybe I'll just drop some music in here. Um, it looks crazy going at 600 times speed. I'm not that fast. But yeah, like look at all the fine details, just kind of like blending that skin in, and just making it look nice. If you shot with like a really like nice window light directly pointing towards your subject, it would look nice off the bat. And so I just I like to blend those two things together, like I said before. I'm gonna let you guys watch this and uh thanks again. Follow, like, and subscribe. I think I have a few subscribers right now, but hopefully this kind of builds up and hopefully this helps um everyone see kind of what like a boudoir editing workflow might look like if you're new to this or if you've been doing it for a while um but yeah okay yeah jump into this uh so you can do frequency separation but portraiture um obviously costs money it's just really nice personally i really love it it really helps me get through my workflow at the end and just kind of smooth out that skin a little bit extra so something to think about um, I have this frequency, frequency separation action for Photoshop for free on the website again. That's becomingfireboudoir.com. And um, you could do frequency separation, and I used to do only that, but it takes forever. So I would suggest investing into portraiture if you plan to do this full time. But if you're just editing a couple photos, you could probably rock frequency separation, which I should make a video about. You could probably find some on YouTube but um but yeah
Hey guys. <laughs> hey guys. Oh my god.